Hello and welcome. Uh, it is Wednesday the 11th of January and this is my first vlog of 2023. I uh, trust that you enjoyed the festive season and are now uh, heading into the new year with fresh hope and vigour. Having said that, <laughs> I'm aware from my post bag that some of you still have some sort of concerns about what's going on in your lives and also what's going on in the world. Uh, so I've got a couple of questions this time round, which uh, sort of um, uh, cover the basic uh, spectrum of what I've been asked recently. So here we go. Bobby Burrow from St. Louis. What do you and others in the UK think of Kevin McCarthy becoming the House Speaker over here in the States? Well, all I can say is us in the UK are in no position to criticise political manoeuvrings abroad after the, well, it can only be described as a pantomime that we had last year in 2022. Oh, I have no real feelings about Kevin McCarthy at all. Uh, I suppose it could be suggested he's a bit of a fighter. Uh, but uh, for anyone who has to go through 15 rounds to be elected, I suppose it could be seen as a, a, a sign of strength. But also it could be seen as a sign of weakness. Uh, it could be argued that his uh, reputation has been tarnished and because it gives an impression that there is corruption of some sort going on and he's been a little underhanded. Can't comment on that at all, but there we go. Uh, Melissa, from, uh, Melissa Brum from Manchester. I want to open a bank account and need photo ID. My passport has expired, so the bank won't accept it. I do not drive, so don't have a driving license. I do have a valid citizen's card, but for some reason the bank won't accept it. What can I do? Well, this is a, a, the start of some sort of worrying trend, I think. Various forms of ID are now not being accepted. Now, for those outside our shores, we do indeed have... A citizen's card it sounds rather orwellian uh, but it is very effective it's simple to get and in some authorities it's free and other authorities just charge a nominal fee uh, and all i can say melissa is that you you're not the only one to have your citizen's card rejected and as i say there is this disturbing trend and uh, there are reports in the uk that citizen cards were being um, rejected, especially when they introduced the fact that we're going to have to take some form of ID with us when we go to vote. It said that the government feel that citizen's cards are open to fraud and being forged. Well, news alert, passports and driving licenses and anything can be forged. So that's a bit of a, a very tame argument, I would say. Uh, some would say that it's simply that the government is trying to ser stop certain members of the community voting. If that is the case, that's very disturbing indeed. Uh, and they want to introduce a new form of ID, which will be a little more expensive and therefore prohibitive for some, especially those on a very low income. Uh, so when it comes to voting, I personally still enjoy popping down to a polling booth and putting my cross. And I am in a fortunate position. I have a valid driving license and passport. So in theory, I shouldn't have any issue. But I do think it's very important in this day and age that everybody votes. There are so many people abroad who are fighting for the opportunity to put their cross that I think here in the UK and other places that it should be legal that you have to vote. Some will disagree with me there, but hey-ho. Um, I think on that note, I should sort of move on. I wish you all a happy new year. If you enjoy my vlogs, please do encourage others uh, to um, subscribe. And also please continue sending in your questions. I do enjoy reading them 
and I do, en do enjoy mulling over them and trying to come up with some sensible answer for you. So until the next vlog, toodle pip. <laughs>